This is from Agatha and Taetso. They both sent the same question, okay? And so we're going to do it. So since two of you sent it in. All right, now what I have got is Mbali kindly put the table on for me. So I don't have to spend all this time writing it out. But the question says there's a sequence of amino acids in a protein molecule. Um, is, sorry, let's do it like properly. The sequence of amino acids in, in the protein molecule is coded by the DNA and RNA. All right, and then it says this shows your, this table shows the messenger RNA codons and it shows the amino acids that they code for. Now what I'd like to show you and if you understand this, you will only ever get full marks. Okay, if your DNA is here, and I'm going to divide this one here, and I'm going to make this the tRNA anticodon. I want you to remember this. Your DNA to your messenger RNA are complementary. Okay? And then your messenger RNA to your tRNA are also complementary. And that is why your DNA and your tRNA are very similar. Why? The only difference is going to be your thymine versus uracil. Because RNA always has uracil. And DNA always has thymine. So that will always be different if it's, got, if, it's, if it's got uracil, it's RNA. If it's got thymine, then it's DNA. Okay, that's how you're going to remember it. Also, remember for your complementary bases, and then for your complementary bases, adenine will always join with, so it's always A to G, Adenine to guanine and no, 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 no. You see, I'm trying to do this too quickly. Your complementary bases are G to C and A to T if it's DNA or uracil if it is an RNA. So your guanine to cytosine, adenine to thymine or adenine to uracil. Okay, that's if it's RNA and this is if it's DNA. All right, now let's just do, I'll do two here. So if the messenger RNA is ACG, the complementary of that is going to be T and C and G. So thymine to adenine, cytosine to guanine, guanine to cytosine. If we look at aspartate, Instead of G, we have the complementary is going to be C. A will be T and U will be A. All right, so that would be your DNA and your would code for these messenger RNAs. And then transfer RNA is going to now be the anticodon of that. So A would be U because it's RNA. G would be C. And C would be G. Now look at this. T, U, C, C, G, G. And that's why we say they are very similar, except for T's and U's. Here, 
Complementary to G is C. Complementary to A is U, because remember there are no T's in, in no thymine in RNA, and the U is going to be A. So that would be your anticodon. So DNA is complementary to your messenger RNA, and messenger RNA is complementary to your transfer RNA, which means DNA and transfer RNA are very similar because the only difference is that DNA has thymines and RNA has uracils. All right, now let's have a look at our questions. First question says, according to the table, how many codons code for uh, uh, phenylalanine? So all you do here is you look, 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 look. Here's phenylalanine, only one. So the answer will be one codon codes for phenylalanine. All right, then it says question two, what is the anticodon for glutamic acid? So what do we do? We go down, down, down. Here, no, 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 no. Ah, here we go. So there's your glutamic acid. So if the messenger RNA is GAG, then your anticodon, okay, so your complementary anticodon is going to be C, U, C. Guanine will give you cytosine, adenine will give you uracil, and guanine will give you cytosine. So there you go. That is your anticodon for glutamic acid. Then it says a section of messenger RNA has the following base sequence and is read from left to right. So let's do this. So here's our base sequence. So it is G, U, oh man. G, A, U, C, U, C, G, A, C, A, G, C, A, U, G, and A, C, C. All right, now it says, give the DNA base triplet for the last codon in this messenger RNA. So what would the DNA base triplet be? So if it is A, C, C, then in your DNA, What's this going to be? Complementary, so A to T and G, C to G and C to G. So there you go. There's your base triplet. Would be T, G, G. All right. Then it says the first amino acid coded for by this section of messenger RNA. So here the first one is, and they want to know the first amino acid. That's simple, because all we do now is we go up here and we look for GA, there we go, there's GAU, and it would be aspartate, and that's what you would write. So this here would be aspartate. People remember complementary, guanine to cytosine, adenine to thymine when it is DNA, and adenine to uracil when it is RNA. Always, always, always. Okay, now it says, hmm, a mutation has occurred, which resulted in the following base sequences on the mRNA. Okay, so clearly this mRNA has changed. So let's quickly do this. So we've got GAU, and we've got CUC, GAC, AGU. Oh, okay, so here's our change. And then AUG and ACC. So there we go, there's the change. Question is, describe the mutation that occurred. Now, what mutation occurred here? Cytosine in the messenger RNA was replaced with uracil in the, in the, in the code. Okay, that's the mutation. So cytosine here in, AUC, in AGC, Cytosine is replaced with uracil as A, G, U. All right, that's all you have to write, and you can see it. So it's not like something that's major. Then it says, explain the effect of the mutation described in question uh, um, A, um, and what effect it will have with the protein. So let's have a look. If we look at A, G, C, look down here. So... 
Um, AGC is here. That's serine. Okay, so that's your amino acid. And if it changes here to AGU, a, here we go, AGU, look, it's also serine. So what does that tell you? That there won't be any change. Remember, what causes an issue with proteins and the production of proteins is that the amino acid sequence is very specific. And that is coded for on the DNA. So that DNA has got a very specific sequence for all the amino acids that are going to line up nicely at the ribosome. And the tRNA is now going to, or your messenger RNA and your tRNA is going to bring those amino acids in the exact order. If that order changes with just one amino acid, it changes the protein that comes out the other end. Okay, so we then have a problem. It would be like you baking, um, baking cupcakes. And if the recipe says flour, you put in flour. But if the recipe, somebody changes that recipe and says, no, um, you must put in pasta, well, you're not going to have the cake that you wanted because you've changed the recipe. And that is what that sequence of amino acids is. It's the recipe for the protein that must be produced. Now, if, if one of the bases has changed, like here, where you're changing cytosine and, 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 and you're putting uracil in its place, okay, but they both code for serine, therefore, there will be no issue with the protein molecule. Okay, the protein will be the same. And then it says, name and describe the process occurring in the nucleus, which results in the formation of, of, of mRNA. All right, now, I'm not going to write all of this down, but I want you to listen carefully. Okay. The process is called transcription. Transcription is when DNA makes RNA. Okay, and the specific RNA is going to be messenger RNA because the messenger RNA codes for the, for the DNA. All right, so how does this work? The DNA strand untwists and it opens up. Okay, so it opens when the weak hydrogen bonds between the hydrogenous bases in the DNA strand break apart. And that's controlled by enzymes. Enzymes make it open up. So it's now got that shape. Now you have the, the bases of the DNA strand are exposed. And one of those DNA strands will become the template. And they're fr little free uh, uh, um, RNA, uh, uh, RNA nucleotides floating around in, in the nucleoplasm. And they come along and they slot in to the template DNA strand. They just slot in because they are complementary. So they slot in and bonds reform. And or at, at least the, 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 bond, the, the, the bonds form between the, the phosphates and the pentose sugars. And there we have a specific gene piece that is now your messenger RNA. And then that code, the codons, go chicky, 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 out through the nuclear pore. And where do they go? To the ribosome in the cytoplasm. Okay, where transfer RNA will go and fetch the amino acids in that specific order. All right.